Hello! Thank you for coming to this week's weekly recap video. I take all of the information that you've missed in the past week in Cardano, and I put it all in one video. I threw some education in there. Um, I also answer your guys' questions. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, we also have a Discord server for that, too. There's a Discord server. Any questions you guys have, feel free. Uh, we're, the whole point of this is to bring education throughout the community. Um, but before we jump into the video, or I guess we should talk about what we're going to talk about today. Um, so we're going to be going over the Project Catalyst winners, right? So Cardano Voltaire is here. People can actually vote on proposals, ideas that people have, and get funding for those ideas. So Fund 2 is now over with. We're going to be talking about who actually uh, won the funds or, or got voted in for the funds for Fund 2. Uh, it's going to be a really good video, so make sure you guys stay in tune for that. Um, the easiest way to support me in this channel is just click the like button, click the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. When you do that, you push my Cardano videos out there to the wider cryptocurrency community and they'll start taking the ADA pill. Trust me, just do it and you'll see what happens. Another way you can support me is by delegating to Bloom. Uh, Bloom is actually my stake pool. Uh, we've had the eighth block ever in the Cardano ecosystem. We pay kick-ass returns, and um, we're going to be here forever. You know, We have a lot of skin in the game with 10 million pledges to secure the network from Sybil attacks, but we love your delegation. Let's get into the video today. So we'll just jump right into the thick of it. So 11 total funds were funded, and Fund 2 was a total of $250,000. And there was a mission for Fund 2, and that mission was to fund developers and entrepreneurs that build businesses on the Cardano blockchain. It's pretty general, right? It's not just for developers. You know, they mentioned entrepreneurs. And when you say entrepreneurs, that can literally mean anything. Like, for example, a podcast, uh, just any business, you know, that uses the Cardano blockchain that interacts with it. Um, but a lot of great proposals got funded, so I'm really excited to go over. Um, so congratulations to all of these. I'm really excited to see what you guys build. And I do think that the more proposals funded and especially good ones are going to bring um, kind of a lot of adoption, a lot of value to Cardano. And um, in a way, it's it's nice because it's giving back to the people that already support the ecosystem. You know, a lot of these people uh, that got these proposals or that got funded um, have been here for a while. And I think that has a lot to do with why they're funded. You know, you're not going to just fund somebody random who hasn't been here, you know. Um, so let's go over the proposals. So the first one is the pool tool platform upgrade. So if you guys don't know what pool tool is, um, it's it's awesome. It's developed by Mike. I actually have a podcast with Mike, the Cardano or podcast. Um, and this is pool tool. It's kind of a, a data driven site, but it's really important. We've actually used pool tool to find issues that we found within the blockchain. Uh, we can look at the network health, you know, um, you can look at forks, versions. Uh, this stuff's very important. I'm very happy to see uh, Pool Tool get funding. You know, they've been doing this out of pocket for a while other than donations. Um, so it's really cool. I'm happy. Pool Tool is definitely one of the ones that I voted for. The next one's Ouroboros over Arena. This one's pretty awesome. I was really excited to see this one get funded as well. Um, it's deploying a proof of concept stake pool and a relay solution of Ouroboros over Arena using Ethernet. Uh, at two sites in Tokyo, Japan. So what Rena is, Rena is a different way to actually do the internet. Um, it's very complex. If you guys actually want to learn more about Rena, it's really cool, actually. Uh, I have a Cardano Aura podcast with it. So just go ahead and I'll link the Cardano Aura playlist below this. And this will have um, actually podcasts with a lot of these people, right? So for example, uh, Aura Boris over Rena, we'll have a podcast with them. Uh, we have one with the pool tool upgrade. Uh, we have one for Liquid. We have one for Sebastian, the signing. We, we have one for everybody. So click that little Cardano or playlist if you guys want to learn more about these projects. I'm happy that I have this information widely available for you guys already made. Um, so you can learn more about this stuff because these are going to be the first builders on top of Cardano, right? At least the first funded builders by the decentralized blockchain. So the next one is Haskell, Plutus, and Marlowe Education, creating educational content that conveys complex information in a structured way, supplemented with examples that inspire ideas. This proposal makes it a lot easier for developers and entrepreneurs. Um, and then creating a message signing standard. So getting a message signing standard to prove reserves identity and stake pool delegation. So Sebastian um, is actually working on this. I'm real happy to see him get funded. It was pretty cheap, uh, I'd say. It was probably like, I think, 5,000 5, ADA. It wasn't too bad, so it was definitely worth it. I'm excited to see him um, get some funding to work on something personally for Cardano. You know, he's always worked for Mergo, but he's another guy who's been in this community for years, you know. Um, so Liquid. This is the big, big, exciting one. Um, Liquid is a DeFi project. It's a decentralized fund or a decentralized project. Um, I'm messing up today. It's decentralized finance, right? Um, and what they're actually doing is called phase one. Um, phase one is going to be really cool. Uh, this is simply where you just have liquidity pools and then 
people can actually uh, use the aid that they already have to lock them up in a smart contract using these liquidity pools and be paid returns on the ADA for doing so. Um, I'm not too, too big into the DeFi stuff, but I will be soon as it's coming to Cardano. But I have a whole podcast with the creator of Liquid, um, Dwayne Cameron. So make sure you guys watch that podcast. It'll be in the Cardano Aura playlist and you can learn more about it. Uh, but this is going to be the first DeFi project on Cardano, especially now that it was funded. So I'm really happy and it's uh, they're making it open source. Um, it's a non-custodial liquid liquidity protocol to earn interest on deposits and borrow assets on Cardano. Another thing that's really cool about this stuff is the fact that you can actually stake your ADA. Your ADA can stay staked while you're providing liquidity to the pool. Um, so you can earn even more rewards on your ADA. So it's really cool. I think you guys will like that. The podcast that I did with him was really good. Um, so Cardano for mobile dApp developers, turning mobile platforms into first-class citizens of the dApp world with mobile SDKs, mobile first dApp experience, and app store compatibility. So th I think this is really cool. I do like to see that um, they're working on mobile SDKs uh, for the dApp experience because when you think of dApps, at least me personally, if you guys have ever used dApps before, um, I always think of like Uniswap, right? Where you go to app.this.com or app.this.io um, and it's all through the browser. So having the browser experience, uh, it will also have it on mobile is really cool. I like to see that, especially as we're moving towards uh, mobile phones having more functionality. Like for example, the Ledger Nano X, you can actually now use the Ledger with mobile. Um, I think it's important to use like with DeFi stuff or decentralized applications, it's important to uh, use uh, hardware support, you know, uh, hardware like hardware to store, you know. Um, the next one is Gimbal Labs. It's starter kits and tools. Gimbal Labs is a startup platform providing free and open source APIs, lessons, and project-based le learning resources to help people bring their ideas to life on Cardano and so drive the adoption of the blockchain. So this is really cool. I like seeing people build tools, you know, and open source APIs and also providing some educational material on that. I think a year from now, Cardano is going to be a beautiful place with all the tools that devs have to use and also the education, um, especially when you have a way to actually fund this. So Lovelace Academy for Marlo and Plutus. This is also another project that I had on my podcast. Uh, it was with Sueta. So make sure you guys check that out if you want to learn more about the Lovelace Academy. It's establishing an online academy to attract, inspire, and educate individuals and companies to create applications on Cardano's smart contract and native assets platform. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. You know, like I said, it's going to be, it's really important to have the educational material on creating native assets, on using smart contracts, and I'm happy to see um, um, them both get funded. It was Maria and Sueta. Um, I think they, they're they both great people and they've been in the ecosystem for a while and uh, I'm excited to see what they build with this. So the next one is Sign TX Arduino. Uh, this is starting a library for code written in C programming languages that are compatible with the Arduino development environment. Sign local Cardano transactions in advance of smart contracts being available to enable applications for the internet of things. Right, And this is IoT. This is actually by Kyle. Uh, he runs the pool Frog. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. Um, he does a lot of cool stuff uh, with Arduino, and essentially what he's doing is um, building tools um, and kind of building out the ability for people to sign Cardano transactions using the Arduino locally, right? Instead of using it in Linux, he's essentially adding a way for people to use that in the C programming language. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see what that comes up. I'm happy he got funded. Um, the next one is... Pet Registry, DAP with APay, helping developers accept ADA payments on websites. The Pet Registry DAP built on APay um, will service a global audience in a cheaper, better way. Devs are inspired by successful apps and tools needed to build them. By creating both, we can inspire and accelerate devs in their solutions. So I'm excited to see what comes of this. You know, um, I would like to see the ability to actually use ADA to pay. You know, personally, I'm not going to be using my ADA much to pay right now. Maybe I will in the future, you know, as time goes on. Um, but it's it's nice to see actually people integrate that into websites, you know, to give people that are selling items uh, an easy way to accept ADA. I think that's really important. I'm ex excited to see what he builds of this. So Japan Cardano Governments Association, meetings and communities and podcasts supporting offline and online and offline meetups, governance podcasts for our Japanese community. So this was another really cheap one. Uh, this is by Yuda. He runs a bunch of pools. He runs ZZZ, um, K. Like there's a couple. There's a bunch of pools that he runs. But um, he's he's been a member of the Japanese community for a while, and I think he's really well respected over there. Um, I think he's probably one of the biggest pool operators uh, in the whole ecosystem. Um, so 
it's cool that he's actually doing something, uh, supporting online and offline meetups and governance podcasts for a Japanese community. Um, I like to see that uh, the kind of the community building in other countries, and I like to see stuff get funded in other countries because so far it seemed like most of the projects were English. Um, but that's it. That's all the projects got funded in Fund 2. That's $250,000 paid out. Um, so I had a proposal on there. I had the Cardano Aura podcast on there. It didn't get funded. It was really, really close. So I appreciate everyone that went out and voted for me. Uh, it means the world. No worries that it didn't get funded. Um, as far as what I'm going to do with the podcast, what I'm going to do is kind of shorten the scope. Uh, I'm still going to do it, but I'm going to do it much less frequently. Uh, so I planned on doing it once a week, having a guest on each week. Uh, but instead, I'm going to actually not do it as frequent, but instead save the podcast for like bangers, right? Like just podcasts that are really going to hit, you know, um, like maybe one with uh, like Liquid, you know, or one with Charles, Sebastian. I want to have Sebastian on to talk about this stuff, but it's going to be much less frequent, uh, maybe once or twice a month. Um, but yeah, that's that's really about it. It's no worries it didn't get funded. Um, the next fund, because um, that's your next question probably, is well, is he going to ask for funding again? Uh, fund 3 specifically about dApps and decentralized applications, so I will not be going for funding on that. It doesn't meet the scope. It doesn't meet the challenge, whereas for Fund 2, it did. But it's no worries. Like I said, thank you guys all for voting on my proposal, even though it didn't get funded. Um, it actually hit the approval rating. Um, I think there was over like 100 million ADA that voted for mine. It might have been a little bit short of that. And it was all it was good thumbs up. It, it met the, the threshold to get funded. And then following that, um, it, there wasn't enough money. So the way the process worked, it was really it was really weird, actually. But you had to hit a certain threshold. You had to be liked enough. And you had to not be disliked so much. And then that puts you into the funding category. And the Cardano Aura made it into the funding category, but then you're re- you're weighted in the funding category based on how many upvotes you have, right? So the way it worked is, I think like Liquid is near the top, and then so Liquid took like a big big portion of it. So then theirs gets sucked out, let's say thirty percent, and then um, let's say like we'll look at the we'll say like a uh, pool tool platform upgrade that took out a big portion so what happened was we went down the list we went down all 11 projects and then we got to the or we didn't even go down all 11 i don't think we went down x amount of projects we got to the cardano aura it says yes people liked it it was funded but we're not we don't have enough money for it so it was approved but not funded and it left it yellow uh, in the sheet that i looked at um so yeah well, like i said i appreciate you guys supporting me but that's what happened it's no worries these things happen um but yeah that's pretty much all i had in the video um i hope you guys all have a good rest of your day that's the weekly recap i'm about to actually join and do a podcast with kaizen crypto i'm really looking forward to it also a uh, big shout out to ada lovelace for sponsoring this weekly recap it's actually a bloom delegate um, that enjoys the reward so much that they actually wanted to sponsor uh, the weekly recaps um, so yeah i really appreciate a big shout out to ada lovelace the bloom delegate that sponsors these videos it means the world man um, if you guys enjoyed this video uh, leave a like down below click that notification bell and a comment if you made it to the end um, please type the cardano aura dies <laughs> in the comment section down below. But I hope you, like I said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. See ya.